So welcome. As you can see, we're at my house. Um, if there's any advantage to virtual worship, it's that you can do it any place you've got an internet or cell phone connection. Um, the snow has stopped for the moment, but it was snowing pretty hard a few minutes ago, so I'm just as happy to be at home and not out on, on the road tonight, uh, especially when it gets dark. So, welcome. Feast of the Presentation. Uh, uh, it's, we'll have right one, um, and uh, the psalm is 84, if you want to look it up in your prayer book. Um, the prayers of the people are form two, uh, and that's about all you need to know. So let us pray. Light and peace in Jesus Christ our Lord. Thanks be to God. Almighty God, unto whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of thy Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love thee and worthily magnify thy holy name through Christ our Lord. Glory be to God on high, and on earth peace, goodwill towards men. We praise thee, we bless thee, we worship thee, we glorify thee, we give thanks to thee for thy great glory. O Lord God, heavenly King, God the Father Almighty, O Lord the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, O Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, that takest away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. Thou that takest away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. Thou that sittest at the right hand of God the Father, have mercy upon us. For thou only art holy, thou only art the Lord, Thou only, O Christ, with the Holy Ghost, art most high in the glory of God the Father. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, we humbly beseech thee that as thy only begotten Son was this day presented in the temple, so we may be presented unto thee with pure and clean hearts by the same thy Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A reading from the prophecy of Malachi. Thus says the Lord, Behold, I am sending my messenger to prepare the way before me, and the Lord whom you seek will suddenly come to his temple, the messenger of the covenant in whom you delight, Indeed, he is coming, says the Lord of hosts. But who can endure the day of his coming, and who can stand when he appears? For he is like a refiner's fire, and like fuller's soap. He will sit as a refiner and purifier of silver, and he will purify the descendants of Levi, and refine them like gold and silver, until they present offerings to the Lord in righteousness. Then the offering of Judah and Jerusalem will be pleasing to the Lord as in the days of old and as in former years. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. How dear to me is your dwelling, O Lord of hosts! My soul has a desire and longing for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh rejoice in the living God. The sparrow has found her a house, and the swallow a nest where she may lay her young. By the side of your altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God. Happy are they who dwell in your house. They will always be praising you. Happy are the people whose strength is in you whose hearts are set on the pilgrim's way. Those who go through the desolate valley will find it a place of springs, for the early rains have covered it with pools of water. They will climb from height to height, and the God of gods will reveal himself in Zion. Lord God of hosts, hear my prayer. Hearken, O God of Jacob. Behold our defender, O God. 
and look upon the face of your anointed. For one day in your courts is better than a thousand in my own room, and to stand at the threshold of the house of my God than to dwell in the tents of the wicked. For the Lord God is both sun and shield. He will give grace and glory. No good thing will the Lord withhold from those who walk with integrity. O Lord of hosts, happy are they who put their trust in you. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Since God's children share flesh and blood, Jesus himself likewise shared the same things, so that through death he might destroy the one who has the power of death, that is, the devil, and free those who all their lives were held in slavery by the fear of death. For it is clear that he did not come to help angels, but the descendants of Abraham. Therefore he had to become like his brothers and sisters in every respect, so that he might be a merciful and faithful high priest in the service of God, to make a sacrifice of atonement for the sins of the people. Because he himself was tested by what he suffered, he is able to help those who are being tested. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. The Lord whom ye seek will suddenly come to his temple. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to St. Luke. Glory be to thee, O Lord. When the time came for their purification according to the law of Moses, the parents of Jesus brought him up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. As it is written in the law of the Lord, every firstborn male shall be designated as holy to the Lord. And they offered a sacrifice according to what is stated in the law of the Lord, a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons. Now there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. This man was righteous and devout, looking forward to the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit rested on him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not see death before he had seen the Lord's Messiah. Guided by the Spirit, Simeon came into the temple, and when the parents brought in the child Jesus to do for him what was customary under the law, Simeon took him in his arms and praised God, saying, Master, now you are dismissing your servant in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared in the presence of all peoples, a light for revelation to the Gentiles, and for glory to your people Israel. And the child's father and mother were amazed at what was being said about him. Then Simeon blessed them and said to his mother Mary, This child is destined for the falling and the rising of many in Israel, and to be a sign that will be opposed, so that the inner thoughts of many will be revealed, and a sword will pierce your own soul too. There was also a prophet, Anna, the daughter of Phanuel, of the tribe of Asher. She was of a great age, having lived with her husband seven years after her marriage, then as a widow to the age of eighty-four. She never left the temple, but worshipped there with fasting and prayer night and day. At that moment she came and began to praise God and to speak about the child to all who were looking for the redemption of Jerusalem. When they had finished everything required by the law of the Lord, they returned to Galilee, to their own town of Nazareth. The child grew and became strong, filled with wisdom, and the favor of God was upon him. 
the Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to thee, O Christ. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. I'm not going to preach. Instead, I'm going to read a poem, A Song for Simeon by T.S. Eliot. Lord, the Roman hyacinths are blooming in bowls, and the winter sun creeps by the snow hills. The stubborn season has made stand. My life is light, waiting for the death wind, like a feather on the back of my hand. Dust in sunlight and memory in corners wait for the wind that chills towards the dead land. Grant us thy peace. I have walked many years in this city, kept faith and fast, provided for the poor, have given and taken honor and ease. There went never any rejected from my door. Who shall remember my house? Where shall live my children's children when the time of sorrow is come? They will take to the goat's path and the fox's home, fleeing from the foreign faces and the foreign swords. Before the time of cords and scourges and lamentation, grant us thy peace. Before the stations of the mountain of desolation, before the certain hour of maternal sorrow, now at this birth season of decease, let the infant, the still unspeaking and unspoken word, grant Israel's consolation to one who has eighty years and no tomorrow according to thy word. They shall praise thee and suffer in every generation with glory and derision, light upon light mounting the saints' stair. Not for me the martyrdom, the ecstasy of thought and prayer, not for me the ultimate vision. Grant me thy peace, and a sword shall pierce thy heart, thine also. I am tired with my own life and the lives of those after me. I am dying in my own death and the deaths of those after me. Let thy servant depart, having seen thy salvation. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation he came down from heaven by the power of the Holy Spirit, he became incarnate from the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son, he is worshiped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. I ask your prayers for God's people throughout the world, for this diocese, its clergy and people as we begin a search for a new bishop, for our parish, for all Christians in our community, and throughout the world, for this gathering, and for all ministers and people. Pray for the church. I ask your prayers for peace, 
for goodwill among nations and for the well-being of all people. I ask your prayers for our president, the Congress, the courts. Pray for justice and peace. I ask your prayers for the poor, the sick, the hungry, the oppressed, and those in prison. We pray especially for all those infected by the coronavirus. Pray for those in any need or trouble. I ask your prayers for all who seek God or a deeper knowledge of him. Remembering Simeon, Simeon and Anna, let us remember especially the elderly, that they may continue to be lights to the world in their generation and may find his salvation. Pray that they may find and be found by him. I ask your prayers for the departed, especially those who have, who have died of the coronavirus, also for those who have been victims of violence, of war, and those who have died of hunger. Pray for those who have died. Praise God for those in every generation in whom Christ has been honored, especially the ever-blessed Virgin Mary, St. Joseph, Paul, Anna, and Simeon. Pray that we may have grace to glorify Christ in our own day. Lord Jesus Christ, who says to thine apostles, Peace I give to you, my own peace I leave with you. Regard not our sins, but the faith of thy church, and give to us the peace and unity of that heavenly city, where with the Father and the Holy Spirit thou livest and reignest, one God, now and forever. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And now, as our Savior Christ hath taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The peace of God, which passeth all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God, and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.